come to the Ronald McDonald House, you walk in, you feel like you're family. It provides something to these families that no one else can give to them. I mean, this is a miracle place. This is a place for miracles to happen. It was the house that love built. I'll never forget my handprint because it's uh, the memory of me for the Ronald McDonald House. The day after Christmas, we took him to, to the doctor because he had a real bad cough. You know, he, of course, he gave us the news that we did not want to hear. I was nine years old when I found out that I had cancer. He, he had a six inch mass in his chest. They said that he, we probably would have found him one morning. They airlifted us here that exact same day. It was within maybe five or six hours after we got the news, we were in Memphis. When I figured out that I had cancer, I was really, really sad. To see him today, he's a happy, go-lucky 10-year-old. He's wide open. <laughs> he's met a bunch of new friends now. He has pool tables to shoot on and whip his daddy. Bingo. Eric loves bingo. <laughs> he, he will run you over when he finds there's a bingo game down there. When we go home, he's embarrassed. Here, he does not mind wearing his mask. At home, he's very embarrassed. He thinks people are laughing at him, you know, making fun of him. He knows he's not in a boat by himself. Everybody here is in the same boat. They might have different cancer, but they all of them's got cancer. Went from being, you know, the most perfect day and one of the greatest days of our lives. To the worst day. When my daughter was born, uh, May the 12th, on Mother's Day, 1996. She uh, actually was born, she had this little blue bruises pretty much all over her body. We knew then something was wrong. A few hours after she was born, they uh, come to us and told us that she had AML, leukemia, and um, we were just devastated. So we got to St. Jude, she was probably around six hours old. They had a waiting list to stay here. When we first came, my daughter was in St. St. Jude. She was in the unit for the first six weeks of her life, and we stayed in motel rooms. If you don't think about the financial part, the, the hotel stay, the food, you know, everything. And here, it's just, you know, you have a roof over your head, it's a safe place, and you can have a little bit of normal family life. I was thinking, you know, a couple of weeks we'll be back home, but turned into over a year. My, my daughter lived a year and eight days. My, my family, my wife and my son and I started this in memory of our little girl. We do this uh, one, one Saturday out of each month. Hey now, how you doing sir? Hope y'all enjoy your meal. We do grilled chicken, we do grilled hounds, macaroni and cheese, you know, all the kids like macaroni and cheese. We're, we're grateful to get to do it. You know, a lot of people, you know, they may look at it as a chore, as a, a, a burden somewhat. It, it takes a lot of work to get this done. And, Everything that we do is cooked here, cooked fresh, so that they get a, a fresh meal. You know, when we first started here, uh, my wife and I was scared to death. So we're going to do it one Saturday. That's been eight years ago, and uh, we, we we started with nothing, and and we still have nothing. But we've been able to do this for eight years. My daughter Hope, uh, just after she turned three years old, she was uh, diagnosed with medulloblastoma, it's a tumor about the size of a golf ball. They had removed most of the tumor last year, so as we're sitting and talking, she's cancer-free. And uh, she's a great example because, I mean, uh, we've shared her story with other people here. It, it's given them hope, it's given them inspiration to see what's happened with her and, uh, you know, that this thing cancer can be. We've got our daughter back. We feel, it feels, I mean, it's unbelievable, you know, to know that and we didn't know if we were gonna lose her or not. You know, diagnosed at three years old and knowing that we have her back as part of our life is, it's, 
It's amazing. In on me when you're not strong. I think it's important for families or for people to donate to the Ronald McDonald House to support families that are in crisis. It helps to know that we don't have to worry about some place to stay. If you want to donate, come in here and look around. See where your money's going. It does not go to waste. You know, the Ronald McDonald House is a house that it, it's completely uh, relies on the goodness of people. I don't know if I could put it into words, you know, it's just really, it's really special. It just means a lot when you're going through something like this. Uh, again, our situation that went from the best day of our life to the hardest day of our life uh, to the most tragic day of our life and now has become one of the biggest parts of our life. Eric's got a remote control car. He goes out and he runs his remote control car out there in the grass. And for an hour, he's he ain't got cancer. He's driving. <laughs> and that's that's what's good about this place. I know I'm gonna be cured because I know other people that went through it and had the same stuff I've had. God's on my side. For the difference that it made in my family, you know, I would encourage anybody that can be a part of it, you know, uh, it will make a difference in your life.